Ah, water. We all need it. What might be just as bad as needing it and not having it is having it, but not being able to use it. Let's figure out how we can get this water, or any like it, ready to use. Whether you are using a municipal water source under a boil order or collecting it from a natural source, your water may look clear, but it can be full of dangerous microorganisms that can give you a bad day. If you are collecting your water from a natural source, a clear flowing body of water like this one is usually a good option, rather than using something stagnant. Here, I was collecting clear water from a stream using a gallon jug, and it looks great. You can collect your water using just about anything, such as an old tin can, or even a plastic bag, because after you have it, you will still need to purify it somehow before drinking it. This water is considered dirty, and everything prior to purification should be viewed as contaminated, and only th that which you keep clean afterward can be considered clean. So you won't want to reuse the dirty container to hold your clean water, for example. Some common methods for purifying your water include boiling, filtration using commercial filters to remove contaminants, chemicals such as chlorine and water purification tablets, or ultraviolet light or solar. Unfortunately, the water we collect isn't always clear. In fact, every time it rains, the rivers here turn completely brown. Well, this poses a problem with all of the purification methods, potentially clogging up your filters, making chemicals and UV less effective, and if boiling, leaving you with sterilized but unappetizing soup. Well, these are conditions we want to prepare for, so I decided to make my own rain and muddy water. Knowing how commonly it occurs, I want to make sure I'm ready for it, not just preparing for how I hope things will go. Here's how the water looks after some runoff. So before I even try to purify this water, I will need to pre-filter it. Today I'll try a few different methods for pre-filtering water and see which one works best for me. Because I don't want to drink that. Here's how the water looked after sitting for one day. I wanted to see how much it would settle and if it would clear up. It's better, but nowhere near as clean as the clear water we originally collected. You can see how much of the dirt settled to the bottom, and this was with a whole 24 hours. We don't have that kind of time. For our little experiment, I'll shake it to return it to its muddiest state. Now it looks like some southern sweet tea. And that makes sense because I used the same recipe. Now to set up our experiment. I'll be using a coffee filter, a bandana, a knit cap, stole it from one of the kids, socks, a surgical mask, a cloth mask since you probably have one handy, and one jar as our control. Now let's give it one more shake. I used a funnel with each of the items. I quarter folded the bandana, the knit cap fit nicely over, and I just did one layer. I did two layers with the socks, but they couldn't fit over the funnel. The mask presents a unique problem because the first layer is hydrophobic, and that's not cool. I'm just cradling some water in it here. So, I cut off the first layer. Unfortunately, the next layer doesn't allow water through either.
Oh. Looks like the final layer holds water too. The medical mask was a complete bust. The cloth mask let plenty through though. Maybe a little too much. This jar is the original sample, so it has no filter and acts as our control. Since we had an open jar left, thanks to the medical masks doing what it was meant to do, I tried multiple coffee filters. Well, it looks like the coffee filters are the clear winner, especially with multiple coffee filters. The socks did pretty well, and that was only a double layer. If you folded a sock a few times, I'm sure it would do a great job. Cheesecloth might also do pretty well. Basically, the more layers you can use, the better. I also wanted to try another method of getting the dirt to settle, which is to add alum powder to the water. I read it online, and it said to just mix in some alum powder, and it's allegedly supposed to make the solid matter settle quicker. I was hoping for something pretty quick, but after trying it out and letting it sit for an hour, there was no noticeable difference. Well, when all is said and done, I think coffee filters are a great option for pre-filtering water. They work well, are small and light, and they're easy to store or carry. Well, thanks for joining. I hope you learned something, because I sure did. If you have any tips, leave them in the comments. Like this video, and please subscribe.